Where's Poundland? Poundland's gone. Hmm. I think I could do the selfie stick. I'm pretty sure I haven't brought one with me. Let's have a look. Should pop when I'm next to it. Yeah. Nope. I haven't brought one with me. Ooh. Oh, crap. Nearly dropped that on the floor. Oh, dear. One sec, guys. Right, where is he? You all right, Max? I'm having a lovely Father's Day. Um, Naomi's took me to, well, actually, I went to Hitchin Weatherspoons and had a baked potato with baked beans and a salad. How exciting is that? Thinking of picking myself up a little cheap selfie stick because I always forget to bring one with me. Um, to be honest, I don't even know why I started a stream, but people like chatting to me, so maybe that's a good enough reason to try and cross the road. So I had a couple of cups of coffee. Weatherspoons are so cheap. You look, you need it like that. You're liking the old shaved look. Just thinking of getting some balloons. See if they've got anything in the shop got fans bubbles bubbles are boring bubble lawn manners I don't think they'll work balloon shop nice Nah, they've got some foil balloons, that's it really, yeah. I'm sure they used to have a pound land down this street. Must have been shut and moved. Moved it further down. Oh, who likes Hotel Chocolat? Do you like Hotel Chocolat? British cocoa grower. Can you actually grow cocoa beans? Why in the street? You think I'm not? I'm that embarrassed that I wouldn't do something like that. You know, I'm in Hitchin where people don't even have a sensible, a sense of humour, don't you? Look, look, watch this. Nah, you're not gonna do it. <laughs> if I was up north, I probably would. But Hitchin, they're dead. Well, I've been being a bit cheeky all day in the town anyway. When I was with Naomi. I was doing that thing of um, Trigger Happy TV where you go, have you seen a woman with a pink top on with a little black bag and she's going, yeah, walking with someone with a pink bag. That's what they do. And I was doing that with Naomi and she was getting so cross with me because I was doing it to like about 20 different people. See, pink top denim jeans. Watching from Hong Kong. What are you doing in Hong Kong? Catherine, hello. Is it morning? Hello! Look, 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 it doesn't work. Look, you ready? Do I gotta shout it or scream it out? There's nobody here, look. I'm not going to make a baby cry. It's amazing what you can get away with when you've got one of these as well. Yeah, this is hitching. They haven't quite learned about giving pedestrians priority yet. This road is massive. 
Ó, oh, é esse Yalpel. Good and more. It doesn't look like a real police car, it looks a weird one. What model is it? Oh, it's a, vo a Vauxhall. Yeah, in public, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, in shops, you do. But if you're sitting down in a shop, you don't have to wear a mask. It's really weird. Do you want to see the old Bill car? Look, you ready? Here it goes. Yeah, it's a little... 9 p.m. It is 2.02. 2.02 p.m. here. What do you want to go and have a look at? You can look at where all the pigeons poop and ducks at the pond. Um, I'd like Wilco. Should we have a look at Wilco's? Oh, I'll show you down Hermitage Road. That's lovely. You get a good view down there. Hermitage Road. I could just walk up to strange people like me and go, hello, how are you? And just see how many people just give me the... <laughs> I said hello to her and she just ignored me. Who knows the plural of cactus? It's cacti. Yeah, look, this hill here, up here, oi, that hill there is very steep. And um, Barry used to ride his bicycle down that. I'd love to come to Hong Kong. The thing is, when I was younger, I got in a bit of trouble with the police and i'm banned from america they don't like people like me didn't even do that much wrong but in america i'm i think i'm classed as a felon <laughs> what's it like in hong kong do they, i don't even know if you're allowed to go on holiday in america i know i wanted to go and visit um my girlfriend over there well she wasn't really my girlfriend but we were like gonna start dating and it was too much hassle My fa I don't like my baldy face now. I want to grow my beard back. So I pretend I'm having a WhatsApp conversation, and we're going. But we'll, if the signal goes, it goes. So we're going there, and we'll just buy some balloons because they got self checkouts here. And hopefully, my pin's gonna work. Oh, that's lovely. We are blessed with Wilco Radio. Oh, there's Naomi's sister. I've finally seen her twice, and now I remember what she looks like. And she's got a face mask on. I don't know what Naomi's sister's called. Where are the balloons? Stationary. Do you want to see stuff as we walk along? Okay. There we go. We have some balloons. Right, because you're watching, you can choose what ones to get. That's all we get to choose. Got happy birthday ones. I got some clear, but I don't want them because they'll make too much mess. Blue metallic. Well, they're the ones we're going to get. Let's go pay for those. I'm going to face the camera away from me. I don't get told off when I'm live streaming with just on my mobile, but when I use my um, gimbal, I just get harassed and chased out of shops. Too late, mate. I've got blue, yellow, and grey to match much. You can't keep changing your. Yeah, there's going to be lag because the, the internet's pretty bad in here, I think. Using our self scan. Oh, I'll need um, a receipt actually. Is that, is that all right? Yeah. All right.
Right, I'll face you forward because there's somebody here. And I've got to get the right card out. I've got to tell you a story about the tax man in a minute. About com Have you heard about compliance interviews? I had a few of those in my life. Right, where do I scan? Right, so you scan this and then you look on the screen and it says £1.50 and then you click total and then you pay by card and then you scan, no, okay and then you scan And then you get a nice pretty bit of paper for the tax man. The tax man's so evil to me, they're going to pay for everything now. Thank you. So anyway, phoned up um, the, the government yesterday, not yesterday, on Thursday. Um, because I've been a carer for four years, 2017, I think, 18, 19. Yeah, so since 2017, I've been a carer. And a lot of you watch my channel will know that, um, I'll hold my arm up like this, will know that um, I've had a couple of compliance interviews because they think I'm committing fraud. And every time I've not done it, <laughs> what shampoo do I use? I'm going to come back to you on that one. Um, so I rang them up. I'm not going to all the details. But apparently, I was supposed to have told them four years ago that I was getting carer's allowance. And so I did my calculations and I looked it up online while they were talking to me on the phone. And it would mean that I'd have to pay... 41p in um right hang on a minute one sec okay that one's gone right so i'd have to pay 41p in every pound that i'd received in carers allow fact finding telephone calls because they're like we'd like to inform you that this call's being recorded and anything you may say will be taken as evidence, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know where this is leading. And particularly like, what interest of tax credits got in somebody with car carer's allowance? Because they sent me a text message saying, contact us because you might have to avoid overpayment of carer's allowance. I'm like, they don't even deal with it. So anyway, what I said to him is I go, I found one line on your website by random saying that I have to inform you that I get carer's allowance. None of the letters that you've sent me for the past four years have even mentioned that. And it's a ban because it's my fucking channel and if I don't want dickheads on it, then they don't come on it. End of story, innit? I know, you, I know who you are. You make, a, you make an account up every single time and come on here and just be a dickhead, so fuck off. Bye bye. I'm not even going to let you get one word, one sentence out. I'm not here to entertain pricks. Do you think that was alright, Max? Did I deal with that well? Yeah, I'm going. You too, right? Fucking bunch of dickheads, aren't they? Fucking Australian twat. That's what he is. Every single time comes on the channel, makes about 10 different accounts and just chats shit. Oh, what shampoo do you use? Do you play football? And it's, they're just mental, mate. So anyway, I said to him, I've had two, um, I'll go on and on, don't I? Two investigations. And I've said, you got that on evidence and a recording of the calls, yeah? And I clearly said, you must inform for me if I'm in breach of any of your rules and regulations because I said I don't want any more phone calls blah 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 you know and the, you know all the benefits I'm getting I've told you everything 
am I doing everything I'm supposed to? And I've got it on evidence where they said, yes, I am. So they came back to me and they go, in this instance, we're not going to take any further action. And I'm like, yeah, hell no, I know you're not because it's going to cost you 50 grand to take me to court to get 5,000 pounds. So there you, there you go. I think you missed bits of that, but that's my rant out the way. Yeah, I'm down to two viewers now because I've just told everyone to fuck off. It's all right, <laughs> swearing in public. <laughs> I don't know how the cars get down this road because it's only for disabled people and they just, I don't know how I get on here. Have you been down here? And there's Paula. Hello Paula, how are you? I'll give that person, yeah, some, some geezer singing like I do in the shower. When he stops, people are clapping like monkeys, going hoo hoo hoo, or seals. I came here for Father's Day. I didn't even know it was Father's Day. Um, yeah, do you want to hear this? I'm going to see whether he's going to get me my copyrighted. And this old world is a world and a new world. It's a, it's a man in a red dress. Strange. Anyway, I'm going to move on so I don't get copyrighted by the music in the backgrounds. You can't mute the mic on this when you... It's actually singing not too bad. Gonna block my mic up. La 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 la. YouTube's not hearing this crap. Woo! I think this is the first time you've been on my live stream and heard me using swear words, isn't it? Well, the trolls ain't back yet. There you go. That's better. How many candles do you want? One, two, three, four. Four candles. Oh. So let's go blow up a balloon just for you. I've put no balloons in the title. Someone was moaning that I put a balloon in a river because said it was environmentally unfriendly. And I said, but I drove 600 miles to put that balloon in. You're not complaining of that, are you? <laughs> that was funny. But balloons are environmentally friendly. They do, they do disintegrate. But if you go online, it'll show that they're not because people bury them. And if you bury balloons, then it's, they don't get oxygen or UV light, so they won't degrade quickly. But if you put them underground, all oh, these chairs are nice. I could ride around hitching on one. Look at this, should I get one of these? I could just sit on that and go down the hill, couldn't I? That would be fun. When I was a kid, I stole a bicycle. So I'm not one of these people that pretend that they're perfect. And I, and I rode my bicycle through Hitchin Market here. And I had my head down, well, it wasn't my bicycle, and I had my head down and I hit my chest on one of these poles because I wasn't looking where I was going. And the bike went through, and yeah, and it really hurt. I'm surprised I didn't kill myself. I took the bike back. Naughty man. Do not steal bicycles. You will get a bad life. Oh, there's a magic carpet here. I wonder where that goes. I haven't got a skill in tailoring, so I can't fly on that. You know what, mate? You're off home now. Yeah. Off home. <laughs> this used to be like where they sold cakes. This is donkeys years ago or ears. Back in the 1980s, there was like this whole stand was just cakes. 
And they'd have like, you know, like the proper market man. Like, yeah, that buy me cake is good. They'd put it on this one. But hey, wait, there's more. I have another cake and then I'll stick you another one. Who wants to give me five quid for all this? And this is why we're all fat now, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God, I forgot to bring my motorbike again. I walked down. Mia and Sarah, hello. And welcome to the Tango Baldy Show, you horrible little shit bags. <gasps> Sarah. Naomi is in there getting a fat bunda. See that place? Hang on, we go up there. Oh. Because she listens to everyone else, she thinks she's not beautiful and gorgeous. So she's going into a keep fit place. She's in there now doing walks and press ups and pumping weights. Bless her. This is where we usually, where people usually put a toilet or a bath. Oh, I want to blow up some balloons. You big balloon baboon. <laughs> banana, banana boot balloon or whatever, why don't you call me? Banana monkey. I love how you got all your words mushed up. I like your videos where they're, the last one you done, where they're more like just a video with less edits and things in. I always think you should edit your own videos so you because you know what you'd enjoy it more I think I mean like I did a load of videos up in Cumbria and um oh should I just blow a balloon up and burst it in man because so all them pigeons will be like woo through the air I should go the other side then people can't get me <laughs> happy daddy day sir can you bod oh here we go look he's back again it took him 20 minutes to make a new google account no, don't be silly. Don't be silly. aren't they lovely oh asparagus that's a while since i've seen you in my chat do you like pigeons i love pigeons they're really soft as well they're easy to catch they like donuts. If you put donuts down, that's it. They go crazy for donuts. I'm going to sit here for a minute. Tasty flying rats. I've never eaten a pigeon pie. What do you reckon they're like? Oh, I don't want to look at my face. Have a look at the ducks. Quack, 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 quack. I'd get proper. I probably spend a lot less time inside Naomi than I do your sister. Did I say that out loud? Oh, oh well, go make another account. Should we get rid of that one as well? Right, so he's made two accounts. He'll be back in another 15, 20 minutes with some more. Wouldn't it be, can you, could you understand the mentality of people that, that come here just to, and they don't like it? I've never seen that one before. Look at that floating thing there. I didn't realize there was three of them, yeah? ducks remember this is not a family friendly video today and I'm gonna go and pick they will stream for about half an hour 40 minutes right, all the people are gone now are you ready for this Come all the kids again, look. These blue balloons, hate blue balloons. I'm 
I'm going to move you over here. Like that. Right, put you there. Can you see? Oh, they're all going, look. Did you see them all? They're not going to come back now. You can't work with animals. These are actually pretty good balloons. I was just thinking how bad the signal is here. Yeah, we've gone from 10 to 3 people, so we need to sort that out. Why is there... Oh, here we go. Yep, a fat man blowing up balloons for a living and a troll trolling for nothing. Nothing and nobody cares about you or anything. Nobody loves you and nobody wants you because you're a vile little pathetic little fart. There you go. Let's do this for Charlie Popper. There you go, Charlie. The balloon in the river. Let's see where it goes. I'm not sitting there, it's covered in poop. So this is for you, Max. Your own personal blue metallic balloon. It's not going very far. Go. Move. Move. Move, I command thee to move. Look at that, see I have powers. Go on. Get out of there. Yeah. And it's gonna go. Oh, hello, Harvey. Hello, Harvey. How are you doing? Hello, Lacey. Thank you for joining the Tango Baldy show. And Jack. Gemma. Hello, Gemma. Should we blow Gemma a kiss? Nah, she won't like that. Give her a little cheeky wink. I love it because I'm starting to know a lot of people that actually watch this channel in real life. A long way. AFL, you need to go to school if you think a human can weigh more than a train. Even the fattest human on the world has never weighed more than a train. I think a pigeon got eight. Hello, Jens. How are you? Spooks. Spooks. How do you say that? Spooks. I think that balloon's going to be boring. Nah. I think even like a light car's going to be 700 kilos. You should ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll punch you straight in your teeth and break them. This is a very boring balloon video. I'm not going to blow another one up and throw it in. I'm going to try and get it out. 
Right, thumbs up if you want them booted. Yeah, go make another account. Gives you something to do, doesn't it? You're obviously bored. Let's get it out the water. Imagine sitting there on your phone or your computer. Making accounts just to come in and talk like a nom nom, like an idiot. I'm gonna go into the market and pop a balloon in there and go see if anyone goes, because they won't see who it is, will they? It's a bit more quiet here. We just let's go round the corner because I get really worried that someone's going to phone the police in public because they'll be like, "Oh, that man popped a balloon. He really scared me. Can you arrest him, please?" What about down here? This looks nice. Should we do it in here? This needs really cleaning up, doesn't it? So we'll put a, we'll put a balloon up here. We'll put all the balloons. I'm not sure how far I'll have to go back. Should we put it that far back? Oh yeah, I can see them. Let's tie some up here. That's watchable. Let's get two of those there. I think one on this side. Like that. That will do the job. How is that? Now the thing is, do we leave them there or do we pop them? I mean, they do look quite beautiful, don't they? Gemma. Gemma. Gemma, 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 Paula. <laughs> Max, Max, Max. I think Paula's lurking, so is Gemma and Max. Everyone's lurking. I want more, more interaction. Come on, just write something rubbish in the chat like farts. Happy Father's Day to you, and hopefully one day you'll definitely need to get your life together and have a blessed day and stay safe. I don't think I'll ever get my life together. My life is my life. It's a complete and utter carnage road crash, and I'm loving it. Nicola. <laughs> Wicked name. I'm waiting for someone to tell me whether to pop them or not. Yes or no. 
do it. Is Kanisha there? Kanisha, are you watching? Paula, are you watch? Oh, there you are. See, Paula, I knew you were lurking. Give a kiss to Paula. Nice. It's not even my saying that, is it? That's a meme, nice. I'm only here still because I'm waiting. Juicy lips. Oh, that's not a very good look, is it? Uh, I am laying. I could sleep here. Stuff being homeless, man. This is perfect. But you know the old Bill would come along. The old Bill would come along and go, Oi, get your fat ass off that. That's a market stall. Not for you to sleep under. But this would be ideal. Paula wants me to pop it. Let's get something to pop it with. I need to find something. Hello? Hello? I found a pokey stick. No? With no smashed glass. It's oh, a found a busted coat hanger and then this one gone lovely oh they're all soggy inside Kick you up each oh oh how disappointing I found some bubble wrap but it's already been popped I was getting really excited about that it's all being popped already what a waste go on, coat right let's go and do some more where should I do these balloons then come on we had Paula Paula wanted them popped but that I could see it so I've got eight nine, ten children man not all mine, they didn't, I didn't make all of them. But, um, Naomi's the only one that took me out for dinner today, so that was really nice. I kind of put that on her though, because I, I was gonna go for dinner anyway, and she goes, oh, I'll take you. So that was really nice. Um, I think Barry's done something for me. But you know, the best thing that my kids have done for me, Barry and Bradley, is they're so lovely. They're the best kids you could ever want in your life. That's all that matters, isn't it? Um, Tandy, look at that. See, that sign up there is probably worth more than all the crap they sell in this shop. It's an authorised dealer. Remember Tandy? If it was an original sign, you could probably sell it. Yeah, Koteca was really good when it was opened. You just all you can get now is junk off Amazon. You can't buy any decent stuff. But where the bin is, you reckon, let's get this in the bin. Plastics, it's litter. Smoky whores. Smoky Whores, I think that's a very, I don't think that's how it's pronounced, you know. So anyway, what am I doing with the balloons? Uh, I haven't took any advice off VidiQ because they didn't actually look at my video, my channel properly. They made a lot of assumptions and didn't really pay very much attention to the content of my channel. And to be fair, the only way people are going to watch your channel is if YouTube are putting the video on their main page or somebody searching for your particular type of content. And the problem with YouTube is they only show your popular videos. So you can put a brand new video up every day for three months and you'll get millions of views off all your old crap that's not even worth watching. And so someone will go to your old video that's on the front. 
and never look at anything else that you do because they pro they're promoting a crap channel. Oh, we got that flipping annoying music man again. Hang on. I need to get away from them so that I'm not listening to that music in the background. I can't even have a cup of tea in stream. And since lockdown, um, I think you like most people, most people's channels have gone from, have lost about 80% of their viewers because people are out working now or, or out like now just walking the streets because that's what i'm doing just walking why would i want to be at home after being at home for two years the old anyway going back to that video queue thing um the only thing that i did listen to was maybe put it making my titles a little bit more interesting because i got a video that's got one and a half million views it's 15 seconds long and it's just called the lost footage or sight of balloon pop and i thought maybe i just need to like use certain keywords but i don't like doing that i'd rather just do my youtube for fun you spend all that time trying to get your views up and stuff and get the right the thumbnails are important so i do i try a little bit harder on some thumbnails and that does work Wow, I've been talking ages. I'm going to go over the road down the bottom here and just blow up balloons till the police come and arrest me. Who wants to see me get arrested for having fun? That would be good, wouldn't it? And can anyone recommend a hairdresser for a woman that doesn't cost 220 quid just to get your bloody hair dyed? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Do you want me to take picture of all three of you? Absolutely fine, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, is what? Right. Yeah, thank you. okay. They don't want their picture to. Hang on. Let's get this up. Look, Max's bike. There's a little, little pedals. Look, his Sturmy Archer gearbox. <laughs> that looks like a nice little shop called Psychodelia. Lovely. Why are you out on Father's Day? And you do like, yeah, the thing is you can do live streams in prison because I've seen enough people that do that with illegal phones. Right, everywhere I go, there's people. I'm not used to it. They used, I used to be able to walk around here, like, for two years, man, with nobody. Oh, I've never been here. Oh, this looks nice. Apparently, it's the perfect venue for wedding, conferences, meeting, events, and accommodation. Do you think this place suffers from damp? Doesn't that look picturesque? Hang on. I think it might be empty. You still can't see it because of the weeds. Hang on. I want to give it a bit of free advertisement. There you go. Chart Ridge Venues.com. Oh, don't she look lovely with her caterpillars? Bless her. So yeah, this is Hitchin Priory. I've never been here before. Kind of like, why would you want to walk down this hen? Oh, it's a hotel. But yeah, that looks pretty much deserted. I'm sure it's used for something. Private ground, no access. So, 
Let's go and read what it says about the no access. Very deserted. Yeah, nothing. So you're going to have a look at what um, gardens you've got. £10 a day to park here. Look, no access. So this is, wow. Look at the amount of land this hotel has got. So this would have been somebody's home many years ago. Look at that. All the beautiful areas in our world that we'd love to go and see are either behind paywalls or locked gates. Look. Absolutely beautiful place. I'm going to have to go on my flight sim and crash a, a 747 into that field, don't I? Because I can't fly them. That is absolutely beautiful area. I'm, my whole life I've been in Hitchin and never came in here to look. I wonder if it's shut. Fire escape up there. It's like America, isn't it? With our fire escapes like that. You like jump on them and a the ladder goes down. You've got a little string. It is, isn't it? I think this is quite, the frontage here must be quite modern. So it, it looks like, if you look at the top on the roof, like there was a, a, a building behind it or something before. I don't know. But yeah, he's in the middle of the town centre. But yeah, like I want to go and film in caves and like caves are so expensive to visit. Everything's expensive. So I think I could sit here and pop some balloons. What do you think? Hmm. Nah, I'm going to go and max headroom. You, you, I like echoes, really loud echoes and bangs. So I would think going over there where it says max headroom would be ideal. Because no one would just see me there. Oh my gosh, look, there's an old house. I've got to look at this old house first now. So yeah, should we go in there? Look at this old house. When people were little, you could walk under this. Humans have really got tall. So look at this house. But this bit here is supposed to hide under this so when they're throwing their piss pots out the window into the street you don't get covered but god you have to be pretty sure not sure how much longer this place is going to last look at this full of woodworm But you, you would never be able to touch this. Oh, wow, look at this underneath as well. See, how did they get permission for that? This looks like it would be a grade two list, a grade one listed building. But they've managed to get like a, a boring shop front put in there. That looks like it's ready to fall down. Look at that. That's a proper wobbly roof, isn't it? See, I tell people, they walk around and they're like, a lot of people are quite miserable. And I said to them, what you need to do is just stop and look around you at like the beauty in your life. Like, look at this, look, how beautiful is that flower? Stop wobbling. So beautiful, and then you've got daisy buttercups down here. Look, and then you've got a lovely little river. 
again. This is one that runs all the way through the town centre. And they've stuck that in the middle. What is the point? What is that for? <laughs> and these as well. I mean, without those, that would be a nice little view, wouldn't it? But then they just stuck these horrible, rusty blocks of metal in the way. So, yeah, you really have to hunt for, like, the pretty stuff in um, Hitchin. There you go, look. Hopefully at it. So we'll go in that um, underground bit that I said now. Because I think I'm going to have to end my stream in about 10 minutes. Oh, it's him again. Damn. Gosh. We're on CCTV, look. Do you want to see the cameras? CCTV watching me in here. Guess what, though? Can't see me round here, can they? <laughs> they won't see me in here. Let's try. I don't want to smash my camera. I swear someone will come in as I'm doing the video. I told you they would. Oh, they're just turning round. Um... What about putting that there? That looks good. Are you still got a signal for people? There we go. Let's blow and pop in here, out of the way of the CCTV or in front of it. How big is that going to make a bunch? We could do it, there's a lady walking across the street there. Should we do it so you can see the street? Or is it going to be whited out? Let's do it like that. It's too dark. Oh no, that works. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It wasn't a big echo from it, just a boom. So what we do, we'll go and find um, Bradley now. Because he's finishing work in about 10 minutes. That's if I was told right. Uh, three o'clock. I need more chats. I want someone to go, hello. More hellos and more likes. Come on, four likes is pretty rubbish, isn't it? Should get at least 20 or 30. And what's happened to my troll? You got bored making new accounts. Looking for a bin to, looking for a bin to put this in. Oh, this place looks nice. La Bella Vita. Hotel and restaurant access. Let's have a look at how much the Bella Vita is. Yeah, it's the same price as it was when I went to Cumbria. Like £18 for a main course. £2.50 for... We should have got that bike. That was a wicked little chopper. So I think I'm going to end my stream now. And I will go and wait in Weatherspoons to meet Bradley. Yep, I'm here. And I will see you again very soon. I am really happy you lot watched, it's brilliant. So I will see you soon. Bye bye. Come on, one more like, and then I'll go. One more like.
Yeah, you got bye bye now. Go on, bye bye. He's still here. Still watching.